I'm Jennifer Lee. I'm Keith Kate. Thank you for joining us tonight. The man convicted of gunning down his neighbor six years ago after an argument has been released from prison on bond. Trevor Dooley will be allowed to stay out of prison while he appeals his conviction. Rod Carter is live at the Orient Road Jail tonight with an update on the story. Rod. Hey, Keith. Yeah, Trevor Dooley walked out of the Orient Road Jail about an hour and 45 minutes ago, walking very briskly on his walker, headed to his home in Hernando County, where he will stay while this appeals process is playing out. Now, when he walked out, he didn't say a single word to anyone. Mr. Dooley, do you have anything to say? Much like he has since the very beginning, Trevor Dooley did not say one thing as he left the Orient Road Jail today. Do you have any comment at all, sir? Now 75 years old, Dooley uses a walker, although he walked very quickly to a bondsman's car without answering any questions. Dooley was convicted of the 2010 shooting death of David James, but later won an appeal based on erroneous jury instructions. Judge Thomas Barber signed that order, granting him bond while that appeals process plays out, but with conditions like staying away from the victim's family. We were sort of expecting this. Kanina Urez, David James' widow, is not surprised, and she is definitely not happy. I talked with her shortly after the order was released. She had a strong message for Dooley. I hope that you enjoy the holidays. Um, I know your birthday is coming up, I believe, in December. Christmas, New Year's, Easter, all the rest. Just remember, we never got to continue any of that with DJ because you took him from us. Kanina is worried for her daughter, who was eight years old and saw her father shot to death. Dooley claimed stand your ground as his defense. I try not to let this rule my life. I try to move on. I try to make a very uh, happy environment for my daughter. Now, Trevor Dooley's release does come with a lot of conditions. Namely, he cannot leave Hernando County except for medical or legal reasons. He cannot have any contact with the victim's family, either directly or indirectly, as I mentioned before. And he cannot own any type of weapon whatsoever, specifically, Keith, a gun. While the process goes on, the appeals process, that is. Rod Carter, live in yep. Hillsborough County. Thank you.